So you're the rookie that's gonna shock the world, huh? Sure as heck gonna try. Good, I'm glad you're here. Just remember, it's all out there for you. Work hard, listen, watch how we do, and you got a chance to be something special. Now let's see what you got. Thanks. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. And for the Minnesota Timberwolves, they want to turn the season series around as they lost their last matchup against the Thunder. I think their attitude going into that game was all wrong. And I think they believed. Stepping out onto the floor now for his very first official NBA playing time. We've got to check out... Our first glimpse of professional basketball from G. Well, Clark, here's a guy with quite the story. Didn't get picked on draft day. Couldn't find a team until this point in the season. Well, Kevin, I mean, you know because of that, he's going to be playing motivated. Often events like that will give a player an added edge. And I don't think there's anybody in the building more motivated than he is. And for the Thunder, ran outside at the three with Ibaka playing the power forward. Anthony Morrow out there with Jeremy Lamb, and it's Adams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Minnesota, G in at point guard. Young out there, Pekovic. And there's Martin, and it's Levine in at the two. And for Oklahoma City, ran outside at the three with Ibaka playing the power forward. Jeremy Lamb out there with Anthony Morrow, and it's Adams in at the center, filling out the middle. Well, what an incredible journey it's been for Serge Ibaka. Growing up in the Congo during a terrible civil war, the tragic loss of his mom to a stroke, the streets so unsafe that she couldn't leave the home to go to a hospital. To go from that to where he is now, an indescribable contrast and an amazing story. And for Minnesota, G, he's in a point guard. Bekovic is out there with Young. Then there's Martin, and it's Levine in the two-guard spot. And for the Thunder, Ran outside at the three with Ibaka playing the power forward. Anthony Morrow out there with Jeremy Lamb. And it's Adams in at the five down low. He hits the second from the line. And Ibaka planned as a youth to escape the Congo and find a way to provide for his family. Well, and it's a big family, too. It's the third youngest of 18 brothers and sisters. Pretty incredible. And now he's not just helping them, but he's making a huge difference for thousands of people throughout Africa, supporting orphanages, hospitals, schools. I mean, what great work Ibaka is doing. So on the floor for Minnesota, G is in at the point. Young is out there with Martin. And there's Pekovic, and it's Levine in at the shooting guard position. Here's Morrow. 
Right now averaging seven points a game. Shot clock at six. Takes the 13-footer. And Ibaka slams it in. Well, here in the second, not as listless. They're showing some signs of life offensively. Well, great sign because after that poor first quarter, now they're playing better offensively and they have the lead. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin, there's no doubting that center Steven Adams came to the league ready to rumble. As Kendrick Perkins put it, he acts like he grew up on the farm chasing hogs. But Adams said it had more to do with growing up playing rugby. He said it was, quote, a combination of that and trying to survive against my brothers and sisters. Keep in mind, he's the youngest of 18 siblings, Kevin. He doesn't mind taking some licks, Doris. He just keeps coming. Thank you. The kick out to Young. There's the pass to G. Plenty of space. That's good. G gets it to go. And that's not just any basket, folks. Those are his first points here in the NBA. A different look for Oklahoma City. Perkins comes in for and Nick Collison subbed in for Serge Ibaka. The Thunder leading by 13. Lamb with the ball. 11 points in the game. Kicks it to Durant. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one on March. Well, supposedly Kevin Durant, a.k.a. KD, enjoys playing NBA 2K prior to every game as a way to loosen up and kind of as an informal scouting report for the other team. That guy just soaks up all the basketball he can get. Keep listening, KD, and keep playing. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Westbrook's checked in, and the Timberwolves also making a change. Berea's checked in. Addition out to Young. Sinks the triple. Young's got five points in the quarter. And Kevin Durant, guys, officially listed. I'm looking at my book here at 6'9". I imagine he's that height in, in video game form. <laughs> Steve, you think that's selling him short? Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know, it's interesting. A lot of guys who are 6'11 or 7 feet prefer to, to actually be listed as smaller. I think it's because in Durant's case, he wants to be known as more of a guard than a forward. But regardless, it, it doesn't matter what they list him at. He's just a ridiculously talented player. Collison, the pass tomorrow. They set the pick. Pass to Durant. Right side, Durant. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Durant's got five. They've been so efficient in the paint in this game. That's an area they've totally dominated. You know, once they ID the edge they had inside, they just continue to attack it. Outside for Berea. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Young dishes to G. Back to Young. A three. Again, Young missing. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Durant kicks to Morrow. He feeds it to Perkins. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. Westbrook missing again. Here's G, defended by Durant. G passes to Bekovic. And so that's the end of the first half. Thunder lead by 10. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. All right. We've got some work to do, but it's not too late. Let's put our stamp on the second half. Now a few things. I'm going to be blunt. Our low post offense has been awful. We're not creating anything around the bucket. We can handle these guys in the paint, trust me. Let's show them how strong we can be on the block. I do like that we limited our turnovers. We weren't careless with the ball or making unforced errors. So kudos for that. 
And let's get everybody attacking the offensive glass. Second chance points are going to be essential in this half. We're facing a team that does a lot of things well. No surprise they gave us problems in the first half. Now it's our turn to show them what we do well. And now the third quarter have to get going. We've watched Lamb play great basketball. He's got 11 points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. Now, a lot of times, he's one of those players who can get hot and stay hot from the three-point line. So I look for him to continue to search for shots out there. Playing that well, and he'll uh, take a seat for the time being. He's checked in for Steven Adams, and Nick Collison subbed in for Anthony Morrow. Some changes for Minnesota. Ibaka at the four with Perkins at the pivot. Russell Westbrook out there with Durant, and it's Collison at the three slot. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Well, tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance, an impressive win for Oklahoma City. Nothing like second chance buckets to pick up the scoring pace. Boy, very impressive the way they piled on those extra points, hitting the offensive glass and coming up with the loose balls. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. This will make it back-to-back -back wins for them in the first two games of the season in this matchup. And against the conference opponents, who you're going to see four times total on the season, Steve, a two-to-nothing advantage is a pretty good lead. Well, you look back at this one, and what an amazing performance this has been for Russell Westbrook. He was doing everything right, and the points seemed to come in bunches. He definitely had the hot hand. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Jones comes in for Serge Ibaka, and it's Lamb in there for Durant. They set the screen. G kicks to Zhang. Clock at six. Pass to Buttinger. Shoots from the high post. G kicks to Bennett. The feet to Jang. Dishes to G. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. The screen play worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screen play you see in a movie theater. <laughs> gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. And he makes the first. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. Here's G. No good there. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. And that'll wrap it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and thanks for tuning in.
The bad news is you play like a fifth year old rec league bum and we lost the game. You're supposed to ask me what the good news is. What's the good news? Good news is I don't think it's possible for you to play any worse. Is this supposed to be making me feel better? Nah, man, it's supposed to make you understand that it ain't just you. We all got work to do if we're gonna do something special this year. So put this one behind you, learn from it, and move on, all right? Yeah, I But a 50-year-old bum, though? If the shoe fits. Come on, man.